I appreciate so much you sitting down with me and being your truth yes. and telling your side of what happened. Yes. I feel honored that you even chose me. Oh, but thank you. You didn't do this for me. You did this for your fans, yes. for the viewing audience, yes. for the people that are wondering what's going on. You wanted to answer their questions and their and respond yes. to some of the feedback that you've been getting. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Which has been yeah. pretty heavy. It has. It it's has been pretty heavy. It really has. Um, so and unkind in some ways. Uh, really, very, very unkind. really unkind. Yeah. 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 People, I, but people are in shock. Yeah, people are in shock. They. I. I but I have to say, I joined the people. Okay. I, I'm in shock too. Okay. Um, I had no idea what we were going to see. Mm. Um, and really, I. You know, if they had just seen what I'd done and what really happened between me and the ladies without the whatever, you know, I think that would have been okay. Mm -hmm. But they have not been looking at just communication between me and the ladies. Some of it they've been looking at and it was communication between me and, and production staff. And yeah, it was heavy and yeah, it was rough. Um, but that was stuff that happened outside of the, the whatever between me and the whatever was happening between me and the ladies and if they decided they wanted to put that on the air and make it look like it was between me and the ladies that was the decision that they made but you know I, I will say this I had real issues you know with some of the staff you know uh, real issues you know when, when you try to present me as um, the joke and you ask me to wear a dress that's too small on camera because you think it's funny and you know you you know you have another staff member who stands in my home and who tells me to go f myself or he doesn't care if i go f myself and then um you know stuff like that happening the tension builds and that's where i say i have the right to be upset just like anybody else well i'm not angry i'm pissed off at right. that point you know I, and as I well have the right to be, I don't know who would allow themselves to be inside of that situation and the humiliation of it. And you go use the bathroom at the gas station and um, we'll find a place for the other ladies to change. But there are no more rooms around here. So you just got to find some place to change your, your clothes. Go to the restroom, go to the public restroom and change your clothes. And I, I had things like that happen to me. And of course, nobody's going to admit that. But it did happen. So there are times where I changed my clothes in my car because I would rather change my clothes in my car than go to a public restroom and change my clothes on a set where we're gonna be all day long. You brought me here and you asked me to bring three changes of clothes because we're filming three different days all in one day. <laughs> so, you know, with that, um, that that's just the real of what was happening that people will never see and other than this interview, if no one ever else tells it, they may never hear or know. But um, I do appreciate my fans. I appreciate, and my fans to me are not the people who came online and called me out of my name and cursed the day that I was born. Those are not fans. To me, those are temperamental people who got really too involved, I think, in television. My fans are the people who held me accountable. Mm -hmm. And I wanna say thank you to them because holding me accountable is, wait a second, Kelly. This is not the Kelly that I know, mm -hmm. and I wanna go with you on this. Mm -hmm but you look kind of crazy right now. And after all of these years of me supporting you, please don't tell me that this is the person that you are because I don't want to believe that this is you, but you got to say something. So that's the reason why I'm doing this. I can respect the fact that somebody would hold me, they should hold me accountable because I have presented myself as uh, an R&B singer who sings about love and positivity and sometimes the bad side of it in life. But I also represent myself as a preacher's kid and a girl who still goes to church and never stopped going to church. And I'm, a, I'm the minister of music at my church right now. So my church, the people that I go to church with are watching this show. My pastor who trusts me to get up in his pulpit every every Sunday and lead praise and worship <laughs> and, and be over all of the different musical groups is watching this show. Mm -hmm. So I did this for the people who are watching. They need to know what really happened. And from this point on, everybody has to kind of make their own decision, but um, it is the truth. It is the 100% truth. I, you know, my, and my biggest regret was that I agreed to do something that wasn't fully authentic f for the sake of keeping production going and I feel like that I should have just I should have just kept saying no to what I didn't agree was right 
and again poor Fred I'm like poor Fred when I saw it I was like oh my god poor Fred I feel the same way um, and I hate that he and I didn't get a chance to meet each other differently mm -hmm. that will never change because you never get a second chance to make a first impression so with that you know, I apologize to Fred and they wouldn't know it because they'll they will never show me apologize to Fred on television even though that wasn't a public moment we had a private moment together so because I feel like Fred deserves that apology for the whole world to see. Um, again, I apologize to Fred. I am so sorry that when we met each other, it was as icky and nasty as it was because you're a professional and so am I. And I feel like had we had an opportunity to meet each other clean slate at this point, that it could, it could have been and would have been something wonderful. Um, and honestly, if I had just known that the real thing was that they wanted to do their own thing and they really didn't want me to have my idea come into play. I would have just laid back on whatever they wanted to do. They could have done it. I would have been okay with it. But I involved my musical director. I involved Tori Russell. I involved a lot of other people. There was choreography in motion. There was music in motion. Uh, my band was learning all of the ladies' different pieces, and, and my musical director was trying to come up with underscoring based on the ideas that we talked about. Just th So there was work happening. I know that people were presented the idea that nothing was going on because I didn't have time to make it happen, but there was work happening.